North Carolina's primary on May 6, and the Clinton campaign is pulling out all the stops. Over the past three days, the entire family has campaigned in our state. On Tuesday, Chelsea Clinton made two stops at Duke University. Yesterday, former President Bill Clinton met with voters in Hillsborough and other parts of the Piedmont. And tonight, Senator Hillary Clinton is wrapping up a visit to Cumberland County. Our Laura Barron begins our Decision 2008 coverage from Methodist College in Fayetteville, where Clinton just finished speaking to a packed house. Laura? Absolutely. And Bill, this was a different kind of speech for Senator Clinton. She veered from her usual solution for a stronger America speech to a solution for a stronger military speech, trying to appeal to North Carolina's many military families. Now, Senator Barack Obama is still projected to win the primary here in North Carolina, but Senator Clinton is proving she still has a lot of fans. You're going to help pick the next president, aren't you? Yeah. Senator Hillary Clinton acknowledged it's been a while since the voice of North Carolinians has mattered so much. Now, there's a lot to be done, and that's why I'm so excited that this campaign has moved to North Carolina. On stage with retired generals and admirals, Senator Clinton promised better veteran health care and a stronger military. And the former chairman of the Joint Chiefs, General Hugh Shelton, backed her up. She understands that to have a truly strong national security, America's leadership must have a, be based on a strong economy. I will work to institute the one-to-one -one policy. For every month our troops are deployed, you would get a month back home. Instead of what we have today, I would also set a goal of ending the practice called stop loss. Veterans like Stephen Miles believe Clinton can deliver her promise of a stronger military. She certainly has a lot of uh, military generals and uh, commanders and leaders behind her. Clinton never mentioned Senator Barack Obama's name, but she did look ahead to a face-off with Senator John McCain. He has served our nation with great distinction and honor. But he has the wrong ideas about where we go next in America. Now, Senator Clinton also touched on the economy and her plan for universal health care. She is headed to Asheville for another speech tonight, and then she'll be in Jacksonville tomorrow for another military-themed speech. And, Bill, she did say she's up for a debate any time here in North Carolina with Senator Barack Obama. She said she's so tired and sleep-deprived, it really doesn't matter when or where. There's still a lot of questions about yes. that, though. Thank you, Laura.